Welcome to the Vayakel edition of the short board from Shini to Shlishi. In this week's Parsha, we're going to discuss the secret to success. Many people think that success comes only when you have brilliance and special power, special abilities, uh, but the reality is that success is open to everyone. And if we look at uh, the Dor HaMidbar, uh, we can perhaps see uh, proof of this. Uh, when it came to building the Mishkan, Moshe Rabbeinu asked for Kol HaChacham Leiv, all the wise men, uh, wise-hearted, who will be able to do these intricate things of skills in the Mishkan. And uh, the thing is that we didn't have craftsmen in Egypt. The people in Egypt, they were slaves. There was no schools. There was no classes. So how were they able to do uh, these things? Yet we have a whole bunch of people that were volunteers. And they... Uh, Says, so whoever was inspired, or whoever was motivated, they came to uh, to the Mishkan to do the work, and they said that they said we will do it and we will succeed, and that really is the key to success. It's the commitment and the dedication to an objective, the confidence to do the thing. Once you set your mind to it and say, I'm going to do it, you will usually find a way to do it. There's a story about the Nsiv Rav Naftali Tzvi Yehuda Berlin. He headed up the Belezhna Yeshiva, and after he wrote one of his great sperm, Yehamek She'ela, he made a special feast, a special suda, and he invited his, his Talmidim. At the suda, he told his Talmidim, he said, I bet you you're wondering why on this occasion I'm making this festive meal. He says, when I was a, a young Talmud, I wasn't really a good student, and I didn't have these great skills. And uh, one night, I overheard my parents talking, and my father was telling my mother, he says, well, Naftali, he's not being the Talmud Chacham I hoped he would be, so I guess he's just going to end up you know, being a craftsman, a, a businessman, and on the side, he'll, he'll, he'll do mitzvot, he'll learn Torah. Uh, when Naftali heard this, he said, I don't want to be just a nothing. I, I, I want to make my parents happy. I'm going to make sure that I learn the Torah and I'm going to dedicate myself towards this. And he made a commitment and then he burst into this room and he said, Abba, Ima, Tati, Mami, yeah, don't worry, I'm going to learn from here on forward. I'm going to be good. And sure enough, he did because of his commitment. Now, he says also, after 120 years, when, when he would have gone before judgment, before Hashem, Hashem would have asked him, Kavati itma Torah? Did you set a time for Torah? So if he had not been the Talmud Chacham and he had worked, he would have said, yeah, you know, I set up a couple hours a day. I learn. You know, I work most of the time. I do different chesed and I find time to learn. But then Hashem would have said, all right, but why didn't you write the uh, Hanuk She'ela, the Hanuk David? Why didn't you write these various sperm? And he would have answered, well, I'm just an ordinary Jew. You know, I work and I, and I study. So he would have been so embarrassed by not reaching his potential. So he made the commitment to do this, to uh, dedicate himself towards his goal. And we too can dedicate ourselves towards our goals and, and reach them.